The Kuwaiti wedding fire was an arson incident that took place on August 15, 2009, at a wedding ceremony in Oyaun, Jara Governorate, Kuwait. At least 57 people were killed, and approximately 90 were injured. Nusra Youssef Muhammad al enazi confessed to committing these heinous murders, nevertheless, it is unclear why she chose to murder 57 people on such a beautiful occasion. What could have been the motive behind these gruesome acts? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. On August 15, 2009, the tiny Middle Eastern nation of Kuwait was rocked by the greatest civilian disaster in the country's history. Kuwait, country of the Arabian Peninsula located in the northwestern corner of the Persian Gulf. A small emirate nestled between Iraq and Saudi Arabia, Kuwait is situated in a section of one of the driest, least hospitable deserts on Earth. The dry season, between April and September, the heat is severe, daytime temperatures ordinarily reach 111 degrees Fahrenheit 44 degrees Celsius and on occasion approach 130 degrees Fahrenheit 54 degrees Celsius. Kuwait is slightly larger in area than the US state of Hawaii. Back to the mass killing which is the subject of this video. The incident left an indelible mark on the minds of Kuwaitis and led to one of the few instances in which the nation executed a woman. Could this occurrence have been prevented, was the question that echoed throughout the nation. On the evening of August 15, 2009, a wedding was celebrated by friends and family. In Kuwait, it is customary for weddings to be gender segregated, with the bride, her female guests, and young children gathering in a separate tent. The males would be nearby in another spot celebrating. On this terrible evening, the female tent was crowded with more than a hundred people who were dancing, eating, and celebrating with their loved ones. Only one exit was available as the tent was suddenly consumed by flames. The panicked guests attempted to run, resulting in a stampede. Many who were unable to leave were unfortunately stuck inside. Three minutes was all it took for the entire tent to burn down. These three minutes led to the deaths of 57 women and children and the injuries of 90 more. The tent had only one exit, which caused a stampede when the fire broke out, leading to the fall of more victims. These tents lack the necessary authorized safety equipment. Tents that we authorize are equipped with multiple fire exits. We will investigate along with other authorities what caused the incident. The initial death toll was 42, but it climbed to 57 throughout the course of the year. Prior to succumbing to their injuries, a significant number of victims were hospitalized for arduous months. The burned condition of the bodies necessitated the involvement of forensic experts in identifying the victims. The authorities quickly determined that someone intentionally ignited this fire. The suspect was identified as 23-year-old Nusra Yusuf Muhammad al enazi Nusra Yusuf Muhammad al enazi age 23, was a wife and mother of two children. She married her 36-year-old spouse while she was in her late teens. Soon thereafter, she gave birth to two children with impairments. A witness on the scene, later identified as Nusra's maid, said that she observed Nusra pouring gasoline about the tent. When police captured her, she admitted to dousing the tent in gasoline and lighting it on fire. The wedding that Nusra admitted to torching was her husband's marriage to his second wife. A man is permitted legally and spiritually to have many wives in Kuwait. The husband of Nusra was enjoying his second marriage to a younger woman. Nusra said that physical and mental abuse by her husband and his relatives prompted her to set fire to the tent. The scale of this tragedy, which officials say is the worst such incident in four decades, has brought both grief and recrimination. The immediate focus, though, is on trying to save the lives of the many critically injured victims now in hospital. Based on the physical evidence and Nusra's testimony, this arson has been labeled a premeditated crime with revenge as the primary motive. The bride and groom both escaped the fire unhurt, however the bride's mother and sister perished. Grief was the immediate response to the deaths of 57 women and children, but rage soon followed. People were outraged and asked that the perpetrator be punished. 
تعرف يعني. This catastrophe is one of the worst to take place in Kuwait. My prayers go out to the people of Kuwait and the families of the victims. The Interior Minister should inform us about the cause of this accident. Whatever caused this, we will not remain silent. We will hold the minister, any minister, accountable for this. The attorney for Nasra claimed that public opinion played an influence in the outcome of the trial and that the judgment had already been determined by the strong public reaction. Nasra quickly retracted her confession and claimed that she had just spilled water, not gasoline, around the tent. The testimony of witnesses and the evidence, however, contradicted her allegation. According to other versions, murder was never her objective, rather, she intended to disrupt the celebration. However, the extremely flammable tent material and the absence of fire exits led to this tragedy. The inquiry determined that Nasra purposefully started the fire. In Kuwait, the judgment for the murder is the death penalty. Since the inquiry found that the fire was the result of premeditated murder, a verdict was virtually assured in Nasra's case. While the death penalty is a typical sentence in Kuwait for murder cases, it is rarely used to women. In a court of law, the victim's family can relinquish their right to retribution and reach a bargain with the accused, so eliminating the death penalty option. Despite the large number of victims and the circumstances of the victim's death, not a single family member forfeited their right to seek vengeance. Pregnancy was a further exception. According to Kuwaiti legislation, death penalties are converted to life terms for pregnant women. During her detention, Nasra claimed that she was pregnant with her third child. However, a relative of her husband who worked in the jail compelled her to take medication. Unfortunately, this drug led to the miscarriage of her pregnancy. Her attorney thought that her youth and mental state would qualify her for a pardon. Out of respect for the deceased, their families, and the survivors living with the physical and psychic wounds created by Nasra's crimes, the courts upheld the death penalty. Her execution was contentious but not unexpected, given the number of victims. Some believe this tragedy could have been avoided if cultural norms around polygamy and the treatment of women in Kuwait had been reconsidered. Some Kuwaitis hoped that the sentence would be commuted to life in prison, while others believed that the death penalty was a just punishment. The Supreme Court upheld the appeals court's judgment to execute the lady on June 12. It was the first time in Kuwait's history that the highest court affirmed a woman's death sentence. Nusra was executed by hanging by prison authorities on January 25, 2017, at the age of 26. She left two young children behind.